Welcome back, everyone, to another Metrovan Esports, the grand finals for this Valorant tournament. I'm Hobbs. I'm Isabel. Casual. Hi, guys. It's and a grand finale. We are excited to see these two teams battle it out for the championship belt or whatever yes. we're giving. Yes, yes. And the two teams are Burn Creek versus Killarney. And we're going to see who gets the trophy, guys. This is a great way to end. Well, not really end December. To start off the holidays. Since holidays are about to come up. You know, I'm excited to see this. 100%. Indeed, indeed. With the map choice being Haven, Choose it's, gonna be your agent. it's gonna be an interesting match. With Killarney on attack though, we've all we've all watched the games. We know what's up. Killarney <laughs> devastating attackers. We'll see if uh... Killarney with the aggression. Let's see how Burn Creek's gonna get a hold on the aggression from Killarney. I see that they have Killjoy on um, Killarney, which Killjoy is actually really, really good on Haven, especially for retakes with her ultimate. Mm -hmm. But Phoenix is also really, really good in Haven, blinding those corners. I'm excited. Indeed. It is an interesting uh, comp out of out of Burn Creek. You don't see as much of their... You see a much more mid-range team. Like they're not as defensive as you'd expect from a team that is defending first. So it'll be interesting to see how many uh, rounds they'll be able to take off. How many, if they're going to just be able to stop the sheer raw aggression we've seen out of Killarney this entire tournament. They do heavy rays on Killarney and the jet. That's pretty aggressive um, for their team. True, especially true. having the... Um, Omen smokes to help them um, get on sites and Indeed. the silver dart so they get a lot of information. It looks like they're going for a C push. A couple of them are Killarney's members are going through garage or they're just beacon at it at this point. It looks like. Ooh, we've got some mid pushing. They're little, little peaks into mid. <laughs> but the. Oh. Ogami getting that first pick onto the Omen in B. Okay, they're trying uh, to get a pick here on Jet. Yeah, it looks like they're making a hard rotation into B. <laughs> what? Oh, never mind. I was going to say Bird Creek's One looking to remaining. collapse on it, but they're just falling like flies. Oh! Ogami oh, Mio with the triple. The way to Good. start the first round. A very strong start. Although we did, as we were saying, the aggression at Kalarni, that was a much slower push than they, uh, than we've usually expected out of them. I guess they're respecting the fact that this is the grand finale. They're taking it a little slow in these early rounds, getting, getting a feel for it. Yeah, they probably just want to, you know, change things up a little bit. Hey guys, we're not going to be a little aggressive this boy. time. Let's take mm -hmm. it slow. We're gonna see how it, if it ramps up. Up, oh, the two omens ch chucking smokes at each other, as they do. A blind hits his teammate, but also chaotic. Oh, and the bomb is down within 20 seconds of the round start! Brian with the double kill! Oh. Three have already fallen! Grenades in. One enemy nice. Oh, blind through the smoke. Oh. 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 feeling themselves. Zeno hiding in the corner. Getting the frag. Getting oh. a second frag. Oh. oh, almost with the triple. That would have been incredible. It was already very good. Here. Hey, you miss when you blink. Indeed. Looks like... Um... Killarney, not sure. Well, anyways, for this round, Burn Creek can buy some full weapons, phantoms, vandals. We got some good weapons in this round. Make Let's it easier for them to party. get back into the game. Indeed, and it's looking like almost a full vandal purchase. 
out of uh, out of Burn Creek. They're looking to take those long angles and get those one cast. Uh, it looks like Killarney's looking to go up mid again. They get one. Get two coming out of garage. Oh, Sova. Last player standing. In the refrag, and it's once again Spike down to Zeno. Let's see if he'll be able to get a bunch of exit frags again. I think he'll clutch uh, this one out. I believe in Zeno. This? I believe it in him as well. Ooh, oh. Zeno with the kill on my. He's going in here to CT. See if he can see anyone coming through here. Seems like he will be saving. Clarny is but, looking for him though. They're hunting him oh. down. He's about to run into Rays, oh, and he gets the second one. Okay, okay, Zeno, with the second frag. Killarney's... The last two remaining Killarney members are... seem to be on the chase. They're hunting him down. I think Zeno went to go take those frags. Not, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not at all. Lost for the team, but Zeno did get some he, frags, which is good. He, Definitely damaged Kalardi's econ. How much that will matter, we'll have to see. Yeah. As Kalarni is setting up, perhaps for an A push. We've got a lot of people by the A. Never mind, they're all walking away. I've lied. I've lied to you, viewers. How dare thy? Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, get out of my way. Patimer with the stinger on Reyna. See if he's able to get some frags. Shadows traveling. Come on, let's go. A slow push onto C by two members. Oh, Wenge at free fire, but he's re refragged by the bulldog. Ah, oh. trading kills on C. Zena yeah, falls. Alone and getting two kills here. Last two members. Oh. oh. Last player standing. Ooh. Ooh. Chaotic. Trade. Chaotic. Ah. Oh. Gets taken out by Ogami. She secures the fourth round in Killarney's favor. This is this is what we've come to expect from Killarney over the over this tournament. Honestly, very through the whole season, they were just aggressive, well put together team. Especially on being on attacker side, being aggressive is just exactly uh, what they needed. Absolutely, they are you doing their usual they thing of being unstoppable up. on the attacking side. Let's see if defenders can adapt. Somebody's got Noden. Somebody's losing their mind. Sova and Ray's pushing up that C long. Get spotted by the camera, but not tagged. Meanwhile, Killjoy and Jet pushing up B. Omen pushing through garage. Gets the frag onto Sagay. When with the Odin shooting oh. his life. <laughs> the free fires. Back. Taken out by Zeno. Shadows traveling. Indeed, indeed. Oh, the ult pulled out. Going down A. You should run. Does he find anyone? Oh, does he know? Does he know the heaven? Oh, this is. Ah, uh, looks like the rocket. No He's done. Here. Oh, <laughs> but shot through the wall. A quick three piece for Kalardi. It's all down to it's all down to side. And he's found and killed by my famous words. There you are. There you are. Indeed, indeed. Looks like they might have to save this round. This is really, really hard defending with this very aggressive team right now. For sure, for sure. It's gonna be interesting. I would like to see them uh, maybe pulled off a little further from 
from the sites, so giving them up a little bit easier, but man making sure that they maintain their entire team throughout it. Because Killarney's been excellent at just making sure to uh, peek those corners, checking all of the areas, just like that. Wenge, that's his second time killing Zeno in that corner on C. Oh! Wait, with a guardian One to the pole. Pole. Will he clutch this for Whoa. the third kill? Hear it. And he does! Wang with the triple kill! I'm a man nuts with that thing! Guardian the master. Guardian. guardian taps! Just popping heads! I think that was three headshots. Popping heads. Absolutely, just taking them off. That satisfying dink sound, I'm sure that's I'm sure that's music to his ears. Well, it was a safe round for them. However, now they look like they do have an op on the enemy team, so this might be easier for them to Ooh. defend here without actually going into contact with, oh, I... unless he gets oh. started. Dodging the ultimates. The weaves, the dodges. He's nuts. Unfortunately, though, he did give out the information that he does have an op. Silhouette. Zeno. Like oh. Ooh. Zeno using the ult down A, but then getting spammed. Absolutely spammed with utility afterwards. Gami. Wonin pushing on. Victor refragging. Victor? Oh. Oh. So close. An excellent try. Out of charges. This is really tough for Burn Creek. I do say that. Can I get a drink? Maybe retake should be considered here, as it is really hard to actually defend the site with Kalani just rushing onto site. On, they're just very aggressive. Unstoppable. <laughs> they're very aggressive. Kalarni just leaving the bomb behind. They're going for TDM. Never mind, Rage is going back to get it. <laughs> oh. Chaotix. Oh! Wenge with that flick to the head. Kalarni not allowing him to get the kill, but Thictor still getting that frag onto Wonen. He's a man against many, though. Two angles to check. Oh! He's gotten two, though. He's... Oh. Meanwhile, my alone between the enemy team in garage. Oh, and you know, Stinger takes up the Phantom, looking for another frag. Myron, knowing that he, Morian, knowing that he is in garage. Flashes, but Ooh, not. Flash. Oh! 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 Here comes the party! Taken out by Wayne. When? Saving. Warren's life there. My man was about to get executed from behind. Can I get a drop? <laughs> Execution. Thanks. Wayne's having an incredible game today, or tonight. Honestly, he's looked like a powerhouse. He's been strong all tournament, but tonight he's really showing his stuff. Making sure they get those corners, get those angles. Striking. Well, Creek just can't. Not expecting them. Oh! Morian with the headshot. Getting that awkward down. Not before he got. Not before he killed a. Uh, or he killed Jet up in the window. Just, oh, they're three down people. two players, so it is, yeah, 4v3 now. Indeed. This Killarney, oh. 4v2. Morian satcheling in. We'll be checking to see if My there's anyone in your eyes. Mona taking out one. Last player oh, standing. Morian being the last one player. 1v3. Oh, an excellent round out of Bull Creek. Honestly, that's what they just need to do. 
They're, they're getting those, they're taking those picks, they're getting this. those frags, and then they're pushing with, My thanks. when they're a man up, two man up, and they're making sure to secure the round and not letting any other uh, kills slip through the cracks. Very excellent play out of them. This goes here. Oh, this is a nice spot. Oh. Yes. When she, go. going to A link, apparently. That goes there. I assume he might be ulting. Oh, he doesn't have ult. Never mind. I've lied once more. <laughs> All right. Chat. Oh. Oh, Taking out a, excellent! It's an excellent op shot out of <laughs> out of the Reyna, but it was refragged by an even better nade out of Morian. Clean. Oh, Sinke, just holding that corner, getting that kill, pulls back, stays safe. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Larney does not seem to be able to get a foothold onto the actual center of the map. Morgan stuck in that corner right there. Deep Victor holding down Garage with the help of Omen. Got it. Ooh. There looks like Killarney might be going no, for that C commit with the oh, Sova ult. Oh! He forces Chaotix out and Mai's waiting with the op. That's some beautiful teamwork right there. Honestly, Mai has been the top voice of the, um, the Killarney team. It's the 1v1, Victor. Oh, takes a knife. Oh. And Mai with the flick. Mai. Looking incredible on that off. One to nine. Nine to one on the Clarny side. Really? Indeed. Seems like. Not being so. Really struggling with their funds right now. So they're gonna have to go with the save round, but Zeno being the. Zeno. Zeno. Zeno being the Zeno. only person. <laughs> <laughs> Zeno being the only person who can. Purchase again right now. Indeed. You know, it's also top right. Ooh. Ooh. The Reina hard aggressing up into window. Do they even suspect a thing? They, they don't! No! no. Gets that quick frag onto my partner. Oh, top ult. Jumps back in. Gets oh. the second one. They don't know. They weren't expecting a thing. Partner. The counter aggression, I don't believe it. Zito uh, getting another remaining. pick onto Agami. It's 1v4. And, and a win. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was, that was amazing. Last by round in the really, half. really smart. Going in there was just all unexpected because no one, they wouldn't really expect it because, you know, Kalarni is the aggressive team, so having the other team being aggressive to them. They weren't expecting a, a single thing. Oh my god. Huh. Huh. This goes here. <laughs> you okay there, Hobbs? I'm, I'm flushed. That was such an excellent play. Oh, Beautiful rush, player. really bringing it to the the the. the Kalarni's been setting the tempo this entire game, and then Reyna was like, mm, "No, no, 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 no! I'm going to do that now." It's Come my turn out. now. Exactly. <laughs> Love to see it. I'd love for them to continue that momentum. Oh. That was well. Ooh, a good duck, duck into the thing. Oh, uh -huh. but my <laughs> waiting there. Okay, that's a rush. Switching sides. All right. So with the side swap. Bull Creek is in a bit of a, a bit of a dire spot. They're down eight rounds, but Killarney, as we've said many, many times, is that they are the stronger attacking team. So let's see if Bull Creek will be able to take those rounds back Thanks. now that they have control of which site they go to and the map in general. 
Honestly, I feel like it's gonna be no different for Killarney as Killarney is aggressive So they're gonna push up onto them watching all of their other games as well. I just hope Burn Creek can be put together and be ready for this aggression from Kalani. Honestly, from what we saw, I think Burn Creek needs to just make sure they're the one taking the uh, taking advantage. There, ooh. I think I'm getting that first kill. It's, I want to see. I want to see Burn Creek taking point, pushing up. One enemy fight. remaining. Flawless. Oh. Happy fast. Killarney. Completely I, running through them inside no, their own spawn. If I have to be honest with you, Hobbs, I think that that time Killarney was actually just like in their base. <laughs> you <laughs> <ask me. laughs> yeah, Killarney, that last round. Oh. Just went up in there. Indeed, all of the all of the X's for Bull Creek were in their own spawn in that little garden area. Let's see. Oh, a hard push on to see. Killarney's not there. Okay. They've gotten two, but they have full control of the site. Killarney's making the rotation back, but oh, oh no, they left Spike. Last player standing. Okay, falls. ZK falls, not before getting a frag. Zeno, last alive. One on one. Got that Spectre. He's going for the bomb. Denying the 1v1 on C. Said, deciding, I I feel like playing the objective and going, going for that A plant. My ultimate's not ready. This is going to be interesting. Zeno's a top fragger, I believe, for... Um, Bernie Creek. Zeno has been performing very well. Very well. I'm excited to see what he's gonna do here. Uh, but does he know that Morian's slow walking it up a long? He's he taking that second to heal. Oh, he hears Morian. Morian might be just be going for the stick. Oh! oh. Morian. With the advantage of armor, manages to fade out that push and get the Match refrag. Point. Looks like it, it is final round. Um, it's gonna be... This is quite a game, if I'm going to be honest with you. Just rush and rush and rush and rush, and it's really been working for Killarney. Indeed. They set the tempo, and they keep that up the entire time. They haven't slowed down once except for that one round and honestly it's it's they look they've looked as incredible as they have this entire entire series oh that being said i'm liking this they're taking a hard push through garage they've gotten two partner said no he said nope and went in there it's like Indeed. we're not that hard rush up through Garage. Nobody on Killarney was in the area. Now it's a 5v3 and Killarney's got to retake the site. Joke's over. You're dead. Bolt out of Phoenix. You know, he's running out. Is a here? Oh. Got a Neo. But taking out one my enemy remains. Trading one for one and... Burn That's Creek. Exactly what I like to say. So say they got a Burnt Creek playing aggressively. I'm liking it. They're taking the aggression to the aggressive team. And Killarney is just not expecting it. I think after those 12 rounds, Burnt Creek's realized, you know, maybe it is time to be the Killarney. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Be the Killarney. It'll be interesting to see how they'll perform in the next, in the coming matches, because... Once again, this is a series best of three. So, while this match might be a little bit, they might have been too far behind now, they'll have multiple opportunities following. 
love to see them taking these lessons that they're finding on in this match to the next one. And that being said, they're making an aggressive push onto A. Clarny. Ready for it. And they're pulling back out of the out of short. Oh. Zito gets what? Taking out the right click. Don't underestimate Ooh. the classic right click. Oh, yeah, Alex. Oh, he wasn't expecting the the corner held with a shorty. Cage trigger. Oh. No. oh. oh. Wonen taking the win for Kalarni with the shorty. Jumping at him. Indeed, that is indeed. one to three. I, wait, yeah, one to three for Kalarni, I believe. Yes, yes. That game was quite interesting, especially with. Honestly, I give Burn. Like, Xeno did really, really well that game. It was honestly very entertaining to watch. But I think my favorite part in that game was when um, the partner, the Reyna, went in. And oh. he just that that was just beautiful because Without that was doubt. it was unexpected because we didn't know that they would actually do that <laughs> because they've been really playing passive with Kalarni because they were just scared how I don't know they're being very 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 aggressive they did not know what to do and then partner's just like listen here nope I'm going in right now <laughs> without a doubt partner really throughout that game. As you can see on the scoreboard now with those first bloods, he was take, he was willing to take the initiative to the enemy team. He was making sure to get in, get those frags, and on that round, but he went straight up through Widow, covered by the smokes from Chaotic. It was completely blindsided Killarney, took them completely by his surprise, got their top fragger Mai with the op, just a clean, a clean display of strength. Honestly, the game, the tournament is not over yet, and Burn Creek still can win another game, stopping Killarney from going into that 2 0, which I believe that Burn Creek can do because they are a very great, well put together team. Just probably a bit more communication in terms of how to retake, especially with such an aggressive team. But honestly, everyone in this tournament has done. Great, 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 great. And I am so excited to see the next game. But as you may not know, me and Hobbs will not be casting the next game. We will have Gary and Michael, I believe. So I just want to say thank you guys for letting me and Hobbs have this opportunity to cast for you guys this season. I don't know if we're going to see you guys next game or what's happening, but... It was a pleasure casting for you all. And I hope you all have a great holiday. And that's it. Do you have anything else to say, Hobbs? Have a good one, folks. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good holiday.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is map two of this grand final here, MVSSCA Fall 2020 Valorant League. We're going to be seeing Split today. Um, map one, Haven going convincingly in favor of Killarney. And we're going to see Burn Creek try to fight their way to take a victory here on Split to push it to a third map. It's myself, it's Michael, and we're here to bring you Killarney versus Burn Creek. Yeah, right now, just in the character or agent selection, looks like so far Burn have locked all their agents in. On their hand, Killarney seem to be having maybe discussion beforehand. Yeah. And that's, now's a good time to point out Burn Creek is on the attacker side. They are on red on your screen, and Killarney will be taking the defender side first. They are on green. Were you expecting anything different from the first map, Michael, or was it... Did it go exactly as you thought it would? You know, Haven has always been a very strong map for Killarney. We've seen that in the past. And so, you agent. know, at this point, you would expect them to be pretty dominant. Mm. And unfortunately, every team seems to be banning Ascent, which mm -hmm. is one of the best maps we've seen from Burn. Yeah, I think that's interesting, right? Burn has in a way they have built kind of an empire around ascent and all the other teams who don't shoot don't want to play ascent against them that's their insta first ban right so i think burn creek um that's gonna be kind of a i'm not gonna say it's a bad thing it's definitely a little bit of a disadvantage that their killarney is instantly banning ascent and i think that just goes to show how good this team are on that map yeah as we hop into the pistol round here, again, this is the footage of Mai, that is the Killarney side. They are, will be taking Defender first. Um, Split is a bit of a, I would say, Defender-sided map. Um, I would say it's definitely easier for a Defender to play this map than an Attacker. But that's not to say Burn Creek can't pull anything through here. This, is, this map can be turned either way, and I think it's going to be interesting to see what left. these teams will bring forward and looks like it's going to be mostly a b attack here from the side of burn creek it's my pushing forward into, oh, into a lot of information three players are here already dashing away and falling back onto the site now b heaven is all burn creeks they have it convincingly and molly goes down then i won't in the access Four players here already. They've dropped down onto the site. Wound and Flash catching them. He looks to push into heaven. He's quite ready to do that. Zeno and Parton were two quick picks going to the B site. 3v5 now. 3v4 rather as Morian pulls one back. Plant is going down. That was a nice rush there as they Got into the site. I want to see if they can pull one back. Oh, Zeke, double pick. That was that was something else as well. Zeno also taking one in. Burn Creek, still life. They take the first round here on the attacker side of split. Yeah, taking that first round with three players left over. That was an amazing push up mid, very quick, and it looks like it caught Kalarni off guard. How aggressive they are. See a lot of similarities there with Kalarni's own play style. And yeah, in the end, just being able to get away with three players alive over Killarney on the first round of the map, that's sending Let's a go. statement to them right now. Right. That they're the, here to win and fight. And the Frenzy as well, right? That's an interesting gun. Sometimes can be a little less accurate, so the fact that they're able to get those picks in rapid succession, that's really all amazing in itself. Once again, quick push up mid. Nade maybe not going exactly uh, where they wanted to go. <laughs> Armor <laughs> blinded. But Chaotic there to save his teammate on opponent. Flash will go out. Bring wow. down Morin. And 3v5. Wenga is coming up behind through ropes, but they will hear this. And more, most likely he will get caught out. Rotates are all coming in over the site. But at this point, they have this site on lockdown. Cool. Player oh, standing. nice spray. Trade it back to 1v3. Down to Mio, who is on site. Uh oh. Looks like all three players are on heaven, but Zeno does have this Molly ready. 
At this point, Burn is set up for success in this second round. Camera is taken down. Oh. Turret maybe not getting placed on top as intended. And Zeno, nice kill onto Mio, and that's the second round on the board for Burn. Wow, this is this is some this is now some quality Valorant that we're seeing. I mean, not to say in the first map it wasn't. Uh, this is a grand finals after all, but wow, we are seeing some amazing teamwork. It's amazing to see how far these teams have developed since the first game we saw them. If you just saw that play in A Heaven, wow, that just the, 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 the fact that they were able to go in and get two picks, regardless of the fact that they were blind. I mean, that's just amazing. Yeah, I'll call you, bro. Kalarni as well. They forced through that round. And are gonna be kicked back onto the pistol just for this round. I... Oh, nice shot! Oh, oh, oh. The one headshot running straight onto Zeno. His head coming straight off. Continues to spam through the smoke. Raise now into the boosted position. We're looking to move into heaven with Chaotic. Notice a player here, blinded. Takes two, oh, two oh. shots and two headshots, won't it? Some quality action we're seeing out of these sheriffs. It looks like this fall, force fight was gonna fall flat, but they had other plans. The player's still here on the B side. Spike here for Burn Creek as well. Apparently, we have an AFK. Which is not the case here. I'm not sure if that was a little bit of banter going through. Yeah, Partner pushing standing. up in the CT spawn. Oh. May! Oh! Why? <laughs> and won't it? Oh my goodness, these sheriffs have just done everything for Killarney. The five picks all going the way of them, flawless round, not losing any lives. Just the Flawed. just the sheriffs to go into this round and they absolutely they take it clean off. Many headshots. Yeah, and my showing us the true power of these pistols. Just wow. throughout that entire round. Crispy aim onto all of those players on the side of Burn Creek. Wow, that was that was extraordinary. I, I it's hard to put into words what we just saw. Going to this next round, Partner looks like will be on a pistol, though for the most part, Wenga actually staying on a sheriff. Ooh. Early push caught off by Zeno. Nice shot from him to catch off that early peeker. The Maya is still here on site, it does have a Spectre, Jump's and over. the Sheriff from last round. Did amazing things with that last round, might try it again. Wonen similar loadout. Will they catch it? Gets the Phoenix ult, but Wonen getting the kill onto Chaoxic. Mio hiding up in a heaven. Like, looks like it will go down. Mai getting that nice shot onto Ziki. Knives coming out now. Going up over the cage. Oh, a nice shot from the thick door onto my and Parma and Zeno as well, almost at the same time. Getting their two picks as well. Three to one. Well, we talked about it just bef just before this round. We talked about how this the split map is slightly inclined towards the defender side, but certainly Burn Creek showing that it is otherwise and they mean business. Three rounds to start this half. Three out of the four. Losing only to a Sheriff half by, which was, mind you, that was extraordinary. That was some pro level Valorant. But looking to settle a little bit deeper here. Oh. Quick pick by Mai. Nice shot. Chaotic down. Still looking to push up mid. Mai is going to be moving towards the A site now. Could this be the wrong call? We don't know yet. Morty unable to get one as well. It's down to a 3v5. No casualties yet for the side of Killarney. Ropes already. This could be a mistake. Yeah, Zeno taking one down. Two in mid. This mid aggression has been winning Burn Creek rounds. And nice flash as well. Going right under that. Ronan goes unchecked here. Oh, partner actually checks it and takes the head straight off Ronan. They've actually managed to equalize it. Two delayed trades, but they do. They are there. 3v3. Wing has all his other plans. Morian killing himself even, but taking down the final player. Oh my goodness, what are we seeing? Yeah, did you see that round? As that player was pushing up ramp, it looked like the gun actually blocked the line of sight to that, and that ramp was just able to get the kill, but, you know, at the end, with that ult, 
two birds with one stone might not be the I bird that you wanted to hit, but <laughs> you did get your actual target in the end. You did get a bird. <laughs> you did get a bird in the end. Could see a push towards the B side. Looks like we will. Pretty slow push. Not much noise being made just yet. Though they will hear that. Raid's Boombot will go in and at figures out that there is at least one person here. Probably more. Oh, and this nade could do a lot of damage. Ooh. Xeno down to 54 HP. Will opt to... Hightail out of there. There's a player in the sewers. Oh, that shot from Parmer right into the face of Mai. Parmer does actually also get the gun upgrade more than that Wonen though. Keeping the game in check. Parmer onto Mio as well. 2v3. Oh, Wonen, the big shot onto a jumping Parmer. Pinkford does turn it back though. It is a 1v2. And both attackers are on the A site. Last player currently in the rotate. Spike going down. And they know exactly where this player was from that ult earlier. Smoke will smoke off heaven. There is a duel going on up there already. Chaotic is very low, 11 HP. Raise get shot in the back from Chaotic. Four to two for burn. Wow. That Morian was moving as well there. He had no chance, wasn't checking. Was looking for the cipher and wow, that was just an extraordinary play. Like that was a nice really nice crosshair placement there from Chaotic able to just get that instant headshot off. And overall great stuff. They were down two players at the beginning, they were able to trade it back and Yeah, and that uh crossfired at the end. Yeah. Just when you have a crossfire like that, it's almost impossible to get yeah. anything through. Right now they're pushing up. They are aware of this possibility. Yeah, taking a bit of damage. We will get caught up by Chaotic, that is the first pick. But a flurry of breaks coming in at, at mid. It is now a 4v3. Oh, you know, whoa, nice through the smoke headshot. Caught a glimpse of him running through and made the best of it. Now running through vents is Burn Creek. They are taking this A Heaven by force. Mio gonna take one down. It's gonna be back to a 2v3. Can we get another pick here? Standing. Oh, not That's quite. Swing. Zeno able to. Yeah, the swing. And right before that Cypher Cage popped, that was just crisp shot. We're seeing being, being given to us by both teams. As once again. Raise left to, with it all to do. A little less doable than last time, only with a judge to do it with. Morian is, is capable of great things, so we'll see. Not quite having the best of times with that Molly. Trying some movement, not quite working out. Predicts, play, predicts the position on one, might want to just save this weapon, we'll see. We'll see what the call is moving forward. Pushing up again. And that long third. range, unfortunately, unable to take down Zeno with a third, though. All headshots as well. Nice crosshair placement and nice aim from him. Yeah, those picks from Zeno were just amazing from that round. First, the pick, it was like through a smoke, wasn't it? Or at least catching that yeah. timing in the, like, between a wall and a smoke and yeah, being able exactly. to get that player. Yeah, yeah that, that. That, the estimation on when that omen would run through, he ran through, he. Throw, he threw his flash and he down. it wasn't he wasn't affected and then he just sprayed through that smoke and got that headshot amazing crosshair placement as well Zeno Sheriff have Zeno Zimora it's basically a B rush at this point quickly on site oh two from Morian on Victor and Ziki Nay also with the judge the partner does trade back oh nice oh, from Wenga on to partner Zeno does get a headshot onto Mai, training it back, but it is 1v3. Second onto what Wenga. Not. This is doable. 1v2. Spike is dropped outside. Going up. No. Wall will give some cover, but they are spraying through this at this point. He is gonna run out, and nice shot from Mio, closing out the round. 
Did he, did he flash himself though? Looks like he might have accidentally flashed himself there. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we'll see you all banter in the chat as well. Everyone knows it. Laughing it off, a good sign. Yep, that wasn't an accidental <laughs> self flash, that was a tactical confusion. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Only banter or thing. Here. In the second map of the semi, uh, of the grand finals rather. And it does seem to be the sheriffs, the half flies that seem to be working out for Killarney. They will back. take a second off of just the force. As they call a bit of a rotate towards the A site. Calling it back there. though. Citing not enough evidence. One player here firing off, but there are three behind, two behind him. Three in total. Long range was <laughs> trying to throw up the class, throw up the sheriff, and I think it worked actually. I thought that pistol falling down was the pistol that he threw, but actually, he got that up to him. Good stuff. Takes one wing up. Is he? Oh. oh. One enemy remaining. What? A third. Oh my goodness. Oh. Is he taking him down? My closing out the round. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All of the players here extremely crispy in their aim. Wow, that was just I mean, Winga there. How does he how does he get three? I just was he did he expect the Phoenix up close? He just that the trace on the head and then the vandal instantly headshot. And of course he's Rain as he can heal himself. I mean just great individual play we're seeing out of all the players. Showing you the True capability of all these players in the game. Oh, this push from Partmer getting that kill onto Mai early. He even gets the gun upgrade. Neo trying to hold heaven. Get Ooh. one or two. Not even traded yet. Neo does get one onto Wonen. Knows one player is here swinging. Gets the kill onto Morian. Or sorry, Thishisor. Zeno got the kill onto Morian. It's 1v2, Zeno does have run it back active. Time is about to run out, trying to get that. Does get the spike, however. Wow. So the spike is recovered for them. There is a minute left on the clock. He could just go A if he wanted to. Both players are here, but we do have one actually flanking behind at this moment, possibly, or at least waiting for a rotate. Mio jiggling it up, up in heaven. Standing. Nice shot from Zeno onto the head of Mio. That's a third in the round for him. Trying to bait out a push with the plant. Going CT. Wenga has no idea that this has happened. At this point, Wenga... 30 seconds left. ...is guaranteeing in his own mind that player is backside, but does realize that player could have gone CT. Is going to be slowly moving towards the A site along with Zeno. At this point, Zeno is going to full run there, try to get that spike down before the player has the time to rotate over. 10 seconds left. Wenga's suspicions Spike will planted. be confirmed at this point. Clutch. Whoa! Shot Wenga from Zeno. 4k to clutch the round. Wow. That was... That was a straight one on two, but... Using that all, recovering the spike, thank, thankfully. Otherwise, they would have just been passively holding that, but... Wow. Really good stuff. Yeah, just the amount of... You can just see the amount of thinking ahead these players are doing. Zeno, I don't know yeah. if his original intention was to get the spike, but I guess he I, realized I, at some point, hey, you, might, you know, might as well get the spike at this point, and that really paid yeah. out for him in the end. Yeah, for sure. Once again, we might see earlier, but Wenga almost instantly getting the kill onto Ziki right into the round. Wonen waiting in the smoke, waiting for a push from any player who dares. Looks like all three players will hold. Haven't seen each other yet. Ooh. But Chaox like, just getting the time after one and Zeno as well onto Mai. It's a 3v4. Zeno taken out by Wenga. Nice flash to distract him there. It looks like Burn will In actually B head towards B Heaven. We have two players there. Chaox like, is holding the rotate from A. But it doesn't look like Wenga is going to be going that way. Partmer holding CT. Might actually push it. The timing here is everything. Partmer, face kill onto Wenga. 
think for like a split second when he looked away and that was in the end just his demise more and sneaking around on site. Wait, nobody found yet. Oh. Trying to go for both, but in the end, they just spin around and get that shot onto Morian. Seven to four. Last round. Yeah, nice 180 the there from Chaosic, I think. To have his, to have him, to not have his head taken off by Morian, but yeah, I, I, I really sneaky there. I, I, I didn't think they knew necessarily that he was there. They just kind of had to. They kind of reacted off based off that first bullet being shot. And fast reaction time as well, which was nice. A guardian here, interesting choice of weapon on wing up. Looking to tap some heads here. As you know, we'll be holding for that exact push. And Do you now warning shots? Yeah, and falling back. Correct call, I think, with the guardian as kind of almost a sniper rifle. Partner, are you going to be using that Reina to push forward? How did they not get that pick? First pick, even trades. Oh my, the sheriff prevailing actually. Zeno you know, getting the pick out range. It is a 2v3. Favor Burn Creek. Now, they do know where the players are. Yeah, they are going to be trying to get that spike down in a protected position. Zeno now pushing out. Not going to be finding quite anyone, I think, with this alt. Unless he's very quick about it. It's going to be one player pushing it, so they have to be careful that Morian does take one down. Thankfully, the Phoenix all cancelled before that. One Not cancelled, sorry. And oh, my. Another good shot. One enemy remaining. Takes one down. Thicktor, 1v1 now. Mm. Oh. A headshot. That's what mine needed. He was low health. One or two bullets would have done it, but the headshot and the trade kill. So the 2v1 ends up going in the favor of Killarney, who do close it out. It's 5-7 to seven at the half. Yeah, my with that 3k, one of them was from the Sheriff, I believe. And that really did help them win that round. Across the board, we have Burn moving on to the defender side. And as we mentioned at the beginning, in the past, this map has been pretty defender sided, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah, interesting, I think, is a understatement. Yeah, Burn really trying to look to, you know, succeed and perform in the upset against Colony like VC did last week. Mm -hmm. Actually, it looks like the players won't be holding B. It looks like they'll just be rushing down mid as Kalarni rushes towards the B site. Smoke's going down and utility everywhere. Dashing through that tripwire, they have the B site. Eventually. Wenga pushing up into Heaven Thick for waiting here. We're gonna see if anyone's gonna push. I don't think the players saw each other there. At this point, that player may get something. Partner, nice shot onto Morian though. And Zeno now pushing in. Nice shot on Wonen. And even the dink onto Mio, though Ziki did get the kill. And it is a 1v5. My up in Heaven. Does get a nice shot onto Partner though. But Chaotic with that classic onto my. As eight to five for burn. Yeah, just a plethora of targets there for mine. Not, not able to choose one directly to shoot at. They're all friendly again. Not not good for long range. And just that tap fire not working out, and just holding down left mouse button as she kills the player on ledge. Good fast reaction there. Nice spray transfer as well. But ultimately, burn takes the round by force. It is eight to five. We'll see if they can close out a second with the force by now. This is where Kalarni has seemed this most dangerous in this map so far. Oh, this is a nice spot. Really amazing sheriff play. It's really amazing sheriff plays coming through. And we see as they're going to push the A site, and we'll see that Raisney doing a massive amount of damage. Maya already down to 65 as she pushes into CT. However, this is a lot of space given up. I don't I don't know if this, this was the intention to give up this much space, but certainly the damage has already been done. They are already in and the spike is already down. That might be the best result they could have hoped for. Takes one down. Morian traded immediately with Yiki. Zeno with a shot onto Wonen that takes his head straight off. Oh. Winga showing us why the sh why we said the Sheriff was disimpactful. Player to his left. And Thick- Wow! Thicter! 290 degrees away and he just sprays down both. 
Wow, this is some quality Valorant. I said it. I said it before. I'm gonna say. It, I'm gonna say it again. This is some quality Valorant that we're seeing so far. Yeah, on both sides, both teams, just the aim and the utility usage, the teamwork, and even just their planning and what they're planning to do every round, just completely on the next level. Going to the next round. Looked like we will have rifles on both teams. Partner probably no looking to buy. And this will be an egg it appears. Once again, Burn is gonna put some look towards mid very early on. And only one player currently holding A, but we have seen their retakes before. Zeke's sending that bot out. Two players in the smoke, one and catching him out. Zeno though already at screens. Smoked off and there are two players on either side. This crossfire could be everything. Zeno, nice kill onto the Buenga and Morian, but it is traded back by Mai. 2v3. But all three players on the defender side up in heaven. Does get sight of one player, and they do know where the second one is from that kill. Mai is sneaking towards the screen. Nice sneaking around from Mai, getting a pick on apartment, but Thick Door does trade it back. No more it's a 1v1. Emil from the site with that vandal getting the kill onto Thick Door. It is nine to six. Bot coming back. Yeah, and not really anything to say about that. Burn, uh, Killarney really just kind of, or no, sorry, not Killarney. Burn Creek kind of just gambling on the fact that they were gonna go somewhere with mid or B, but they just chose and committed to that A take. And by the time the players were in with the rotate, they, they were already planted and they had already taken control basically of of uh, screens. So. It looks like it's going to be the same setup. I, I question their approach, but it looks like they are going to be going towards mid, so maybe the gamble will pay off this time. As Heart Merc goes out a flash, and the smoke goes down as well. Many players going down. Now there's going to be a Chaotic with a Stinger, close range, take one down, headshot as well. Oh my, able to just get the pick through the smoke on Heart Merc. Wow, that was amazing. No vision at all, just getting it. And Zeno, you know, not do anything quite yet. Oh, oh. wow. Mio taking down two before it gets traded out by Zeki. 2v2 now. Okay. And health is going to be even for both teams. Spike recovered now. Zeki in heaven. I think to bounce an aid into the heaven and it works. And already into a heaven are the players from Burn Creek. And my, or Killarney, sorry. But my looks like maybe, oh, maybe back now. A little bit of lag perhaps. But in heaven, two players. Player standing. My actually dashes away and it takes the head off Ziaki. 2v1 now. Victor. He's got a lot to prove, but see if now is the time that he can do it. Spotting the head, my down to six health now. A <sighs> shot just running straight through straight through the wall and into the head of Victor. Not a chance, the poor soul, but. Clarity taking another round by 4, 7 to 9. Yeah, that shot at the end just threw the wall right into the dome. And yeah, so far, very exciting game. Looks like Burn will opt to go for SMGs. And who knows, maybe they're... Or maybe they will be able to use those SMGs effectively. Keep them out of sights. Oh, oh, what? What? Through, through that smoke right into Parber. That crosser placement paying off. My also second kill in the round, Chaotic. Raise alt, not finding anyone. But those players will begin to push into the B site now. And his what? own. <laughs> Morian getting that kill to Zeki, but Morian now also with the uh, showstopper. Also not finding anyone, but it is a 2v5 off of those three picks, two of them from very early on in the round. Looks like Mango might have caught sight and called that by getting that kill onto Thictor. Thictor unfortunately running out of ammo at the last second, and Zeno is coming in all the players at this point. On their exit, even spraying down the box, but two oh. onto Morian and Mai. And even gets that gun upgrade. If nothing else, at least he walks out of this round 
with a phantom. And you can see those three players on the side of Kalarni just hunched up at mid. Looks like they will actually try to steal that gun back. But I don't think there's time for that. <laughs> Does he know even giving some indications of where he is? By the end, it's eight and nine apiece for both teams. Yeah, the economy is primed. If if uh, Killarney can make it even here, possibly they can take they can look to take a slight lead as they move into double digits. But we'll have to see how this round plays out. I mean, that last round, we need a second to take take and comprehend that what just happened. One shot, a pre-fire shot through the smoke. Oh. Instantly, that's not bad either, Zeno. Showing us what he can do. Now, gonna be just like that. But, oh, my as well, not Wait. bad. Zeno caught out, and it's gonna be a 4v4. A lot of presence towards mid here, actually, from the side of Burn Creek. Or Clarny, rather, sorry. Smoke going down by Burns to prevent a fast push. And we're gonna be here to watch it. Ops to fall back into B Heaven as Kalani rethink their options. Won't have taken one down as well as Yaki. Taken down, attack the Killjoy as well. Oh. Down onto the. Oh! And actually taken down, the lockdown is destroyed. I think Chaotic ulted in just to destroy that that lockdown and then ulted promptly back out. That was actually a pretty nice play. But all things considered, it is a 3v2 now. Chaotic just assuming the timing of that one player who was moving to the screen then ended up killing oh, teammates. Nice actually one. takes it down at range. Last player standing. Takes another oh. one down, it's 1v1 now. He has a chance. Player sitting in the midi elbow. Gonna be checking for him. He's closer, and Mio able to win it out. So 9-9, nine, nine, e all even, all even Steven for both of these teams here as they move into contention for double digits on split. Yeah, both of these teams just showing up everything they have. Yeah, going into the next round, looks like Burn will have quite an unbalanced buy with some SMGs coupled with a rifle and an AWP. We're not the equal. We're really going to be looking for partners to be using that AWP and dealing some heavy damage to Killarney. On, Ooh. Early pushes going in. Oh, nice shot onto my. Ooh. But Ziki and partner both taken out. Zeno is still hiding here, top mid. Players on both sides of him, get the kill onto Wenga, tries to swing around, but Wonen does capitalize on that and get Zeno. It is a 2v3, Chaotic is Spike already planted. basically in B heaven. There is a player here watching in the smoke. If he peeks this, then Wonen will Cover, probably catch that. Putting a second smoke up. Oh. Wonen looks away. Oh. But at the last <laughs> second, Shuzik can actually push into the smoke. Wonen with a 4k. I have no Wait, clue what just what? happened there. It looked like he was going to smoke it, turn away, and then he decided to push into it in the oh. end. Yeah, that was that was awkward at best. It looks like, it yeah, looked like it... maybe Chaotic wanted to throw a, a throw a flash down before going, and then he saw the edge of Wonen's body. So then he had to get a bail out and get his gun. Wonen as well was thinking of throwing, I think, a flash or something like that. He didn't have his gun out. Keep up. And uh, both players looking at each other for a little bit. A truce in the middle of the war before pulling out their weapons. So it's gonna be. Oh, Zeno, oh early though, pick. Quick pick onto Zynga. And Clowney's gonna find themselves a man down, looking to hold on to their lead a little bit. There. First time they've been given a lead from the side of Burn Creek. Swapping guns there, Morian and uh, like Mai. Also as well, Mai can find himself in the smoke. Not too far from the target, actually. Victor taken down by the showstopper. He was put up the best of a fight as he could with the player. But... Oh, Martin was actually able to get a pick before taken down by Mai. One enemy remaining. Zeno as well, takes one down. Last player on site. 1v1. That was where he is. 
Oh! oh. What a Close shot! Close range op into Zeno. There, I can just think of right now so many ways I could have gone wrong, but he he has managed to pull it through. That is why I, these players are better than we will be. <laughs> yeah, just Mike keeping their pool even under that extreme pressure. Yeah. I mean, I mean, how do you do that? That's cl it's close with an AWP. I mean, that player has a sand He can easily spray you down, but just holds his nerve and gets the shot. Even with the, even with the molly down as well. Yeah, finding calm in the middle. Oh, one close, one close, hold on. <laughs> Wang getting Z Chaotic okay, trading it, and it's just a flurry of trades. Neo onto partner Chaotic and Zeno getting their own picks, but in the end, two v three for the side of burn. Yeah, that round at mid was. Messy at best. Cage triggered. Spike is actually dropped near mid, it looks like. So they will have to retrieve that. And once again, two players look like they will pinch into mid from both sides, top and bottom. But there are two players up in B heaven. Bit of a reception party for these attackers Last trying to push into standing. the fight. But Chaos, nice shot into Wonen. That's the third in the round. And the last player sitting here mid, will they expect raise? Molly going oh. right over, but Morian, nice shot by Chaotic, training it onto Morian with a nice shot. And fourth in the round. Only one point down from Killarney. Yeah, Burn as well now into double digits. This is gonna be a close one. Let's see if Burn can hold on, maybe take the round, take the match in regulation, or even push it to overtime. We'll have to see. And that, yeah, that at mid, that was a mess at best, a flurry of frags. Trades going left, right, and center. A lot of those players doing well to take one down before they died, though. I mean, there is the factor of kind of taking, when you take damage, it becomes harder to aim. And the fact that those players were able to get those trades is amazing, but I better stop talking before this action starts up again. We got tucked into the mailroom. Actually, catching one out before, but Wing at. Oh, it's. Actually, there's two players on the same team. Zeno and Partner. And Partner takes one down with the cover of Zeno's ult. And now progresses into B Heaven. One player in sewer still. They seem to know that. They pre fired it a little bit, but. Choose to ignore it. My, actually, all the way into CT. This could be huge. And they sight. And if they choose to go towards A now, they cannot take CT, otherwise they will be punished. Looks like they are going to be doing just that. Oh, actually, my going into heaven needs to be aware for behind. All three players coming from the CT position. Coming from the defender spawn. So, you know, oh. taking one down, actually, my. Morian, a good idea on what, where this player is. Player actually runs standing. through. Oh! What? Discipline. Do they know? Oh. I have no clue. <laughs> Mio getting one from the dead. Yeah, but... But yeah, that discipline from Partmer to just wait there for that race to try to push back to sight is just... <laughs> I mean, did he know? I, I'm not sure he knew. I think he just he just checked it. He know. looked that way. He had his knife out, so which is pretty interesting. It looks like he kind of moved towards that direction, so maybe he was going for a knife kill? I... That was I an interesting no round. I have no idea what just went but down there. For a few but seconds, it... both those players just holding there until one decided to move. But yeah, and it is in... once again tied up at 11 to 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see if they can force it. I don't think we have we seen an overtime in this league yet. I don't you should run. recall any so far. So yeah, you know, looks like we may have an overtime on our hearts. Already, Frags coming in, Wenga onto Thicktor and Chaosic training it onto Wenga. It's a 4v4. That Sildre ult will be destroyed. Fight there is a play. player coming through Garage. My hiding here in hell. Will the player check Ooh. it? My getting it first on Zeke, traded by Zeno. Morian getting it onto Partmer, and it's a 2v2. Mm -hmm. Chaosic and Zeno. Oh, look at this one fire though. Yeah, both. Players trying to push in, that smoke will come down. Oh. But both players on the side of Killarney finding their own shots. Mio with that sheriff right into the dome. Match point. And that.
sound you hear match point that is what this is match point and it's going to be possibly for the entire tournament we get a championship point and burn creek are gonna have to look to bring this to overtime not that that is out of the question not at all actually yeah one round it's a nice setup as well on the base site two players here normally we're seeing kind of more of a mid lane I don't know, maybe he's getting Oh, nice shot, oh, oh. Hartmer. That makes it uh, way easier. 4v5. One player oh. here, Dino takes one down as well. Overtime not out of the question here. He even Dino got away. Get, yeah, get away on 25 health. Even surviving Somehow that first not dead. Yeah. That's a miracle in itself, isn't it? But... Oh, Hartmer's holding this. <laughs> oh! oh. Still One to. enemy remaining. Oh! Overtime. And we have our... I think it's the first overtime of this entire tournament I on our hands. So. I We have never had a tournament in the... Sorry! <laughs> oh my, I'm so excited. We have never had an overtime in this tournament. Overtime. And where better to have it than the grand final? These two teams neck and neck, unseparable. 5k to each player, a little bit of dispute, I guess, for Morian, go with the Vandal or the guys. Odin. Yeah, we see these teams pulling out all the stops, including that Odin. Yeah, we've seen how... Morian. We've seen how influential the Odin can be, actually, on the defender side, so... Not actually a bad call, I would say. Yeah, I still don't know why everyone hates the Odin. Yeah, it's... At least... It's yeah, from well a on the B side. statistic and uh, from a statistical and even just uh, in the field, it is a very good gun. <laughs> it's on the correct side as well. That could be that could be deadly. There are three players here. We can actually pr oh just keep being out. Oh, avoiding getting sprayed. Farmer taking a little bit of damage. Oh. We can actually finally taking down to chaotic. I think he knew where he was the entire time. Now going to be pushing up towards. This is going to be audio cued by the entire team. Not having a, not having too much fun, too much utility. Now they're into be heaven. Now, now there are bigger problems. The winga, winga, he has other plans. Two headshots, three hills. Oh, you're gonna look to take. This. <laughs> I, I have no words to describe that spray. Just adding insult to injury a little bit. See ya, Keith. 10 health. Yeah. Wing it. Headshot as well, why not? Take down the last player, headshot, 4 kill, four kills, and I believe 3 headshots for Wing it. Yeah, getting enough kills to even get that ult. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's rare in itself during an overtime, but... I mean, oh, glass cannon get... over on my though. And yeah, interesting Harper. approach. Two glass cannons. That's interesting approach on the attacker side. Actually, I've never yeah. really. I, I I don't I don't know how I feel about that. Um, we'll we'll have to see what what she does with it. But um, holding for a push. At the look to secure the championship. Yeah, we are on match point. Oh, Zia oh. Key, though has other plans. Takes one down. Gets away scot free as well. Goes down a boom bot, confirms there are more players. That. Was that his blast pack that boosted Morian? I think that was his own. But one blast pack sending Morian flying. Sitting in the under heaven position. It's gonna be a difficult retake, even though it is a 4v5. One player on side is seen by a partner. Behind the screen. Now, Neo also getting a pick. A key. A flurry of frags, actually. Good though for the Burn Creek side. You know where one player is? You know, I don't know if you know where the other standing. player is. No, Six oh. are taking him down. Now it's a 3v. Now it's a 3v1. My taking one down though. I can get and the defuse. The, yeah, the defuse is out of reach. Well, they secure our first overtime and we're treated to even more, ladies and gentlemen. 13 to 13. Yeah, we're into a double overtime now. This is just really the game that keeps on giving. Right. Once again, back to 
almost a mirror of the first overtime round. Once again, with that Odin on Morion, maybe. Switching back to the Vandal, for now. Does want to get that utility in the end. For you, Hermanita. And yeah, going into this round, these attackers are going to be trying to pry open A side, it looks like. Though they haven't actually pushed in though. Wingo oh. hearing that and getting the shot onto partner. Trying to wait in case there's a second player there, but there isn't. Well, and trying to camp up top mid as well. The so far, well all the attackers... Too. Yeah, all the attackers look like they will begin their push towards the A side. There are two <laughs> defenders here. Early flash coming in from Zeno. But Mai is just holding on site behind this box. The real question is whether or not uh, they will clear it when they push into sight. Okay, Looks like the attackers are cognizant of oh. it, but Xeno's back is turned and Mai takes him out with the second on the Oxygen, but Victor does create it. And Morian while falling, shot at Victor and a second onto Zeki. 14 13. Switching sides. The Match point. How did he get that falling pick? I, yeah, that player was low, but. Falling straight into a kill, and then following it up on a second, just through the edge of that smoke, just popping out and clicking the button, and instantly a headshot. The head coming straight off, unfortunately. My, again, going glass cannon. No such luxury on burn though, they are going to be sticking with all rifles. Let's see, those two maybe secure another round. Victor though, Victor, sorry, uh, is gonna we'll be on the B side. Never mind, not push towards B. Pardon. Oh, and caught out, trying to rotate away. Got trades both ways, 4v4 still. Looks like they might try to take some mid control or go back to B. Both are valid options, or even just to split B. Turret does come out, Victor getting that info. Knows that Killjoy is here. Yep. And that smoke will come out into heaven. Oh. Neo finding the smoke. Now that player does get a kill onto Zeno, but it is 27 health. Ah. Taking out by Chaotic Mind, turning it back onto Chaos again. Won it onto oh. Victor. Oh. The last player here in oh. heaven. Oh. Now. It is a 1v2. One player is pretty I low. Oh, but my, just a, that win. the off call onto the rays trying to peek. And there Looking it is, it's gonna- 15 it, to 13. It's gonna be 15 to 13 and Killarney take home the trophy. Here, they close it out and they do take it home. It is going to be the MVSSEA Fall 2020 champions are going to be Killarney Secondary School. And their team, they take, they take the trophy with them 15 to 13 convincingly. Not convincingly at all, sorry, excuse me. In double overtime, how else would you want it but 15 to 13? And they treated us to one heck of a match, but in the end, Clarney closing it out to take home that trophy. Yeah, throughout that this was... entire tournament, Clarney mm -hmm. have been such a dominant force. You know, throughout this entire thing, through the regular uh leagues or through the regular season into the playoffs right. and now to the finals they haven't dropped a single game throughout this think... entire tournament and they've only dropped mm -hmm. a single map. single map yeah that yeah. that is just that is just a indicator as to their dominance during this tournament hasn't it and it's just been and burn creek we can't discount them here right this was an amazingly put up fight considering the fact that if you count in the fact that killarney only took um only took one map loss during this entire tournament and you know there were what six games during the regular season as well as you know five five or six here in the playoffs and they've only dropped one map to get there i mean that is just dominance if i know it so the fact that burn creek's able to take you know them to double overtime and have to force their hand to try to take this to take this trophy home is actually i think a miracle in itself right and so the fact that Killarney is able to pull through that, uh, it's a testament to 
the skill of both these teams, right? But the fact that Killarney is able to take down Burn Creek, I mean, that is just, that was some quality Valorant that we just saw right there. Yeah, throughout this tournament, they not only have, they're not only the only team to have six wins, zero losses throughout that regular season, but they also managed to do it with the lowest average win time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unfortunately, we never did get to see them play Ascent, I don't think. But on the three other maps, in our map pool for this tournament we've seen them dominate every single map they've had every single yeah. plan they've planned everything to perfection they've had amazing utility usage and everything has just gone for them their aggression is just perfect to catch teams off guard even when they're on defender you know sometimes with those aggressive pushes not many teams would expect that and it really does give them an advantage there competitively when they're playing against those other teams and yeah just amazing stuff from them especially in this grand final where they really had to fight hard in a hard fought battle against burn to get here to this point where they have won the tournament yeah and we talked about this a little bit during the middle of the game but we and we've talked about it throughout the tournament it's just the amazing amount of transformation these teams have all gone through I mean, not just these teams, but these players as individuals. We've seen absolutely, we've seen the improvement in fragging. We've seen the move out of kind of being nervous of competitive play and kind of moving into actually being well weathered, well, you know, well decorated uh, competitive players. And I think these teams have just, they've only gotten closer during this tournament um, in terms of kind of skill strategies and teamwork. And the, the sheer contrast between the first map that we saw in this tournament and this final map is just a testament to show that how much these teams and these players have improved during the tournament. I mean, at the beginning, we were seeing kind of individual fragging, a little bit more individually based play. But now we're seeing, you know, quality teamwork. And I, I've said this before, quality Valorant. And, and it is really true, right? I've seen some absolutely amazing teamwork. Um, we've seen some amazing utility usage, and we've seen some amazing fragging as well. And that fragging has stepped up another level from when we saw it first. Yeah, speaking so, of fragging, in today's game, and not only in today's game, also in the playoffs, we saw, uh, or not only in today's game, also throughout these playoffs, and even in the regular season, the aim on all of these players have just been phenomenal. And especially in this game, we saw a lot of those Sheriff kills that really turned the tide mm -hmm. for Killarney. And, you know, in those cases, just that ability to lick to your opponent's head, it just yeah. really helped them. I mean, that those were some of the tide-turning rounds, right? I, even though they were, they seemed kind of insignificant in the it, during the actual game, I think that those picks and that confidence that Killarney gained from winning those rounds and able to, being able to take those. If, had, if the first couple of rounds had been, you know, like seven rounds to zero, then I think that would have been a totally different mindset for Killarney. Maybe we would have even seen um, Burn Creek move to a second map. Not to say that they played badly. They played, you know, they played their hearts out and that, that was really on for show. Um, we, had, we had them going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Killarney with Killarney, which we haven't seen too much of during the tournament we saw a performance by vancouver college um against killarney in the semi-finals but able to take killarney to overtime and that is an achievement in itself so burn creek should be really proud of where they are right now and they should run with it successfully and killarney of course they should take some time to celebrate a hard-earned victory here they are the champions of the fall 2020 mvssca valorant league now may i remind you that we do have winter 2021 signups and events going on um, right now. So we are going to have Osu singles and we're going to have League of Legends, um, which are going to be starting up quite soon. So if you're interested in any of that, please check out the MVSSCA Discord for more information. Um, I believe the link is somewhere in the Twitch bio. So please take a look at that if you're ready. Um, and if you're interested in joining any fun tournaments that we may have in the future. Yep, and I think that's all we have to say 
just to reiterate, this has been an amazing tournament that we witnessed. But apart from that, that's it from us. And you know, if there's ever another Valorant season or tournament, you'll see us again. Yeah, and we'd like to extend a special thanks to all of our casters for during this tournament. Um, of course, ourselves and Isabel and Hobbs, and of course, Johnny and our wonderful coordinator, Carson, as well as all of you in the chat, all of you viewers that have stuck around and showed your support for all the players and the casters. We really appreciate it. We hope to see you back for the uh, next league. Please, again, stay informed in the MVSSEA Discord. And until then, we'll see you. Bye-bye.